All right, hello everybody. So this is video number two for computer apps, and today we're going to be talking about Excel or Google Sheets um, is what we're going to be using uh, inside of this lesson, so or, or this unit. So basically the first thing that we want to do is I want to, uh, to go to Google Drive and uh, go to New and then open up something called Sheets. Okay, so first, kind of the first part about this, the first thing I want to mention to you is Excel um, is, is basically it's spreadsheets and it got its name from accounting. And uh, in the business world, you know, originally where they came up with it from was they had this idea that they would just spread out these sheets and be able to track numbers and, and keep track of statistics and stuff like that. That's kind of where it got its name from. So it's, it's used a lot in the business world. Um, I know that in college, uh, you'll be using Excel as well in some of your courses and some of the classes that you take in college. So I at least want you to uh, get somewhat familiarized with it. Um, we're going to have probably four or five lessons, something like that, that we're going to be doing inside of Sheets. Um, so anyways, that's that's what uh, how we're going to start off with this, is just kind of going through the different parts of the screen, things like that. So first thing I want to tell you um, is as soon as I open this up, this whole thing, this whole document, this all of the stuff inside of this is referred to as a workbook. Okay, so if we were in the classroom, I would have a book and I would just show you, you know, like, uh, you know, I'd pull out any any book that we could possibly use and I would I would hold it up and I would show you and share with you that this the whole thing that, that consists of this is the workbook. Inside of it are going to be worksheets. And so... Um, what that looks like or what that means is down here at the bottom of your screen, you've got, uh, let me make this a little bit bigger. Um, you've got, uh, you've got down here at the bottom of the tabs, these are going to be what are referred to as sheets. Okay. So that's going to be what, what you can store, what you can keep inside of your, your original workbook. Okay. So, uh, first thing I want to do is just, I'm going to name this sheets notes okay so if we we're in the classroom obviously we'd be calling this excel notes um but uh we're going to be using sheets so first thing i want to mention to you is in when we get into this part is going to be everywhere that i'm clicking around in this bo in these uh on these boxes these are called the name box okay and and, and uh these are these are going to be the name box and these are the active cells that we're using okay um so the other thing that, uh, or the next thing that I want to kind of bring up is if I want to highlight the entire screen, everything on here, like let's say that I wanted to make um, the entire document, uh, give it a different size of font. Okay, so all I've got to do is just click on this little box right here and it highlights everything and then I can make a change accordingly. Okay, um, so uh, the next part about this is right up here. This thing in here, this this box or whatever that, that you want to refer to this as, that's called the formula bar. And uh, if we wanted to, if we started typing Blackhawk County, okay, so if I type that in, it would start to show up in here. Now, if I wanted to, um, I can move these over so that you can see the whole thing. I just grab the side and, and pull it. So if I wanted to go up here and if I wanted to make a change and say uh, I wanted to get rid of Blackhawk and, and put Tama County, all I've got to do is click in there, okay? I don't have to re-tight or delete out of this and, and start over with it. Um, so that's kind of a nice, a nice little tip that you could have with that. So that's going to be what the formula bar represents. Uh, next thing that I wanted to mention is the scroll bar, and that's found over here on the side. Um, all that you'll do with this is you can just move it up and down, and you can see on, on your left-hand side of the screen that these numbers are getting bigger as we go. Okay, this is called the scroll bar, and it allows me to go up and down. Okay, I can also, uh, if I, like on my computer, I can take two fingers and, and slide over, and it'll go all the way over to Z. Okay, you can see up here at the top that these uh, that these represent that way. Okay, so the next thing that I want to tell you or, or let you know uh, what's represented is the rows and the columns. You'll hear this a lot when it comes to sheets in Excel. 
<clears throat> about the rows and the columns. Now these down here on the, the numbers on your, the left side of your screen, these are, are called, these are called the rows. Okay, they're, so the rows are represented by numbers. Now they, they show all the way across, like this is a row, this is a row, this is a row. Okay, so they're represented by numbers, but they show the data or show the information that's measured um, side to side. Uh, up here at the top, these are columns. Um, A through Z is what you're going to have in, uh, in Google Sheets, and those are going to be the columns. So those are the letters across the top of the screen. Um, next thing I want to uh, mention to you is just kind of walk you through some of the stuff up here across the top. Uh, we've got the undo, the redo. We can print. We can copy um, paint formula or format. So I can show you what that looks like in a second. Uh, we can zoom. We can make our screen bigger or smaller accordingly, however we want to do that. We can change the format. Uh, we can do that. There's, there's a quick or a short way to do it right here. It's also represented up here. And then specifically go to number and you can make that change, which we'll get into um, a little bit more shortly. Uh, some of these are going to just be the font types, the font, um, the font family, I guess is what we've been calling it. Text color, so we can change the specific color of the text by clicking that. And then the fill color is going to fill the actual background of the of the active cell. These are borders, which we'll use quite a bit in here. It just kind of helps to keep things more organized for us. And then we've got merge cells, which we will do that in this first assignment as well. Now we've got our different types of alignments again, right here. And vertical line, we can make that change there. Text wrap, I'll show you what that looks like in here as well. Um, and then we've got a few other things uh, to insert a link, which we won't do inside of, it, uh, inside of Sheets at all, um, but that's where that's located. And then different functions, which we will use a little bit um, in these first couple lessons. So um, let's go ahead and get started and uh, and get something and get something put in here. Um, so if we put now, this first assignment is going to be Major League Baseball teams. Um, so I'll just give you. We're just going to put a few. Oops, we're going to put a few in here. Just to give us something to look at, Tampa Bay. Uh, let's use the Cardinals, and let's use the Cubs. We can use the Pirates. Just a few different teams. Just so then, then that way we've got some some information in here. Now, if I wanted to, like I said a few minutes ago, if I wanted to make a change with these columns, I can certainly um, slide these out. So if something doesn't show up, you know, like this. Uh, all I've got to do is just move this over, get in between, and then move it over. Okay. Um, it's the same with the rows. I can also pull these down, pull them up. If I want to make everything the same, I could do do that just by clicking that uh, that all button highlights everything. Um, now that kind of that kind of explains or goes through. Uh, on how to change the columns, how to change the rows, type things like that. Uh, one more thing that I do want to show you before we really get into this too much is back up here with some of this stuff, the font family. Um, this, These you can make changes with, and then different colors, and then I, and then here's that, that, uh, uh, let's, we'll just put red. Um, let's change this to white. Okay, so now you can see that this can be, be changed accordingly. Now, if I wanted to make the Red Sox one the exact same, all I've got to do is click on the cell that I want to copy. I click on the painter, and then it'll make that adjustment, okay? If I want to do it again for the other one, uh, let's do Cardinals that way, and then it's represented that way, okay? So that's going to be kind of the, the basic information about putting information, putting things in here. Um, in a second here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start putting in, I'm going to start the first assignment for you, and then I'm going to get into how to change, uh, use some of these functions and stuff like that with you. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with this first assignment. I want to show you. Now, if you've got things that you want to delete, you can just highlight everything and hit delete. Um, I'm going to change this back to reset. So now we're starting from the beginning. Okay, so very first thing that we want to do is type in American League and 
Oh yeah, this is in white, isn't it? So let's change the font back. We'll just reset. Um, all right, so American League is going to be the first thing. AL East is going to be next. And then the different columns are going to be represented with team, logo, wins, losses, and let's do... Let's do total number of games right here. So we'll do a, a basic addition um, in this one right here. Now, going from, from column to column, what I like to do is I just I type it in, and then I hit tab, and that just goes straight across. Now, if I hit enter, if I'm here and I hit enter, it's just going to stay in, in there for a second, and then it's going to go below. So these are going to be the, the different columns that we have. Now, what I want to do is I want to, I want to stretch this out, and I want to have American League Go all the way across. Okay, so this is as many columns as I'm going to use. So what is that? One, two, three, four, five, five different columns. So what I want to do is I want to highlight all the way across. I start with the A, and I just hold down my my mouse and I um, hold over, pull over, uh, so that I can highlight the entire this entire row. Okay, so now what I want to do is I go up here to merge cells, and if I click on that um, that little tab down that little down arrow I go to merge all now I want to do I want to center this as well so I go to line and I go to center now if you when you look in your assignment it's going to tell you to change this to 24 font so you want to be back in that cell go down to 24 and then just make that 24 size now you can see it cuts off part of it so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to get in between these uh, these two rows and I'm going to pull this down until I can see it Okay, um, I'm going to do the same with AL East. I'm going to pull this across again, and I'm going to merge it, and I'm going to center it. Uh, this one is going to ask you to change it to 18 font, and we've got to adjust again just a little bit, and there we go. Okay, so now we're going to start off with New York Yankees, and they had... Uh, looks like they had 103 wins last season. Losses, they had 59. Uh, next team that we're going to put in is going to be the Tampa Bay Rays. And they had 96 wins. When I hit tab, 66 losses. Uh, next team that I'm going to put in is the Boston Red Sox. And the Red Sox, whoops, what did I do? So instead of deleting this whole thing, all I've got to do is just come up to my, to my formula bar and just get rid of Red Sox. Okay, so change that to Boston. Go Red Sox. Whoops. And again, all I've got to do is just go up there to the formula bar. I don't have to retype anything. Boston Red Sox, and it looks like they had 84 wins last year with 78 losses. Uh, let's go down. Let's do Let's do one more. This is the Toronto Blue Jays. Uh, wins for them was 54. And we're going to put 108 for losses. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to figure out how many total games that they've played. So this formula, all I'm going to do is just highlight these two right here, the wins and the losses, to figure out how many games they had. And I'm going to come up here to sum. That is going to give me um, a total. That's going to add those together. Okay, so all I've got to do is hit enter, and it tells me 162 games. Now, I want to copy that formula. I don't want, I don't want to type this in every single time. I want to shorten this up. All I've got to do is grab the bottom corner, since I've already got a formula put in this cell, and then I just pull it down. Okay, and it, and it happens to be 162 for each. Now, if I came up here in the Red Sox, they actually had 85 wins. Now you can see that this automatically changes for me. Go back to 84 for them, and that's where it is. Okay, so I'm looking at this, and I forgot to put in the Baltimore Orioles. So what I want to do is I'm going to just put in the Baltimore Orioles. And I actually, this record was actually for the Orioles. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight this. I'm going to go to uh, to Command X, 
go down here, V. So I'm just going to move that down. Okay. So now I've got this opening for the Blue Jays. So 67 wins, 95 losses, and then I can copy my formula again, and then it gives me this. Okay. So now, now I know this is the addition one. Um, in your second assignment, you're going to have, it's going to ask you for a difference. It's going to give you um, a budget, like how much money that they would have budgeted to spend. It, it gives you the actual money that they spent, and then it's going to ask you for a difference. So you're just going to do a subtraction one. Okay. So uh, if we wanted to do a, a subtraction, if we want to do a, a subtraction one. Um, we could figure out, we could do, we always start off our formula with an equal sign and we could do um, equals, we could, we could take the total number of games and just click on that cell, hit minus, and we could go to 103, uh, just click on wins, and then it'll tell us again what the difference is between the wins and the losses, or the, yeah, the total games and the wins. And that, so that's how we would do that formula. Okay. So when you get to that, that question on, on your second assignment for this, and it says figure, it's asking you to figure the difference. That's all that you're going to do is you're just going to put in the equal sign, click on the, on the cell that you want to subtract it from, or start the subtraction formula from, from hit minus, go to loss and then hit enter. Okay. And then it'll tell you uh, what the difference is. Okay. So that's going to be, that's going to be how you figure that out. All right. So we're going to actually get rid of all of this stuff now, and we're going to do a different type of a formula. So this is going to be the win percentage. If you look on, on like statistics with baseball, football, basketball, any, any sport, um, even like uh, in high school sports, uh, they'll show you, you know, when, when they figure the win percentage, they'll show you um, a, a win percentage on, on the one side of the standings. So the way that we do that is we know that there's 162 games now because we figured that out, which we could actually, if we wanted to, we could do um, equal sign this plus this, and that's going to give us total games. Okay, so that's another way to do that addition formula. So we know that everything's going to be out of 162 games, okay? So the way that we do this formula is going to be equal sign, and then we take our wins, and we go to divide. So right next to the shift, you'll see the division symbol, <clears throat> and you'll put that in, and then you'll put 162, and then you'll just hit enter again, okay? So now I don't have to do that every single time. I can just pull it down, <clears throat> and it's going to give me the, these percentages. So if I wanted to make a change um, and make this look different, and let's say that I was calculating money, um, that type of thing, all I'd have to do is just hit a dollar sign. Um, I can go back up here to number, and I can change it to number, and then it gives me this. Uh, I, you know, so there's a lot of different, a lot of different ways, a lot of different things that I could do with this. You can kind of play around with this and, and look at some of the the customs and, and things like that. Um, so if I wanted to make it to where it's, if I wanted to make it to where it's three, going to keep track of three, I just click it that way. Okay. And that's what it's probably, that's what it's going to look like on your assignment. Um, and so kind of the, the last thing that I want to share with you on this is going to be the borders. So these things that are, that are, uh, that I want to kind of highlight all I go to up here to do is click borders and then there it is. Okay, I can get rid of this one, just double click on that, and I could delete that column. All right, so now here's my, um, here's my Major League Baseball standings set up this way. So when you go to start your next one, you'll just come down to another, another area down here, and you'll put in AL Central, I think is what your next one is. And so we start off the same way. We can take this over here. We can do that. We could actually, if we wanted to, we could just copy this this formatting, just clicking on that, and then it'll auto automatically do it for us. Okay, so I think I think that's pretty much it. I guess the last thing that I do want to show you or remind you of is when we go to do colors uh, and change the fonts and stuff like that. So I'm going to have you do this with these teams. Um, you can either look these up or you can just make it look creative. Um, originally with this assignment. 
is what I have students do is I'll have them research the different baseball teams and, and match the colors with what they are. Um, you could do that, or you could just put some colors in to make it look nice. Either way would be fine with me on this assignment. I just want to see that you understand how to do this and, uh, and, and can make changes um, on these tables. If you just leave everything black and white, I'm going to be honest with you, it, it, it looks really boring. Um, if you give it a little bit of color, you know, and, and do something like that with it, it really makes these sheets kind of stand out and a little bit more interesting to the viewer as well. Um, and that, that'll, next week what we'll, we'll do is we'll get into charts a little bit more and graphs and make it look a little bit more interactive as well with that. So um, back to the font colors. Uh, what I want to do is I want to change the Yankees to, I'm going to change them to gray uh, for the font. You can see what a difference that made on that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make their background, give that a navy blue look. Uh, we'll just take this one, and you can see where it made that change. Um, go down here to the Red Sox. They're going to be, uh, we'll give them a red, a red background with, uh, we can give them a blue, a blue kind of a font, make that look a little bit different. So you can see, um, it already kind of makes them stand out just a little bit. You can make this, give the, you know, give the American League, um, I don't know, whatever you want to do blue with with uh with a gray background or something like that so you can kind of see where this how this looks different um so that's going to be your first assignment with sheets uh so again the only really formula that you're going to put in is going to be this one and again one more time it's just equals we always start off our formulas with the equal sign and then we click on the box of the number represented that we want to uh, use in the formula and then we use division for this and then it's going to be divided by 162. Okay, so just go back and watch the videos as often or as much as you want. Nice thing about these videos is you can pause it, you can rewind it, do different things like that uh, to help you, you know, understand and, and get a little bit more from it rather than just watching it once and then trying to remember everything. Um, the other assignment that you'll have, it's going to ask you to uh, uh, to create squeaky clean cars is the name of it. And it's going to give you um, some uh, some different budgets that you would use. And, and then it's just going to ask you for the difference. So you're just going to subtract. That's the only formula that you'll use in this. Now, originally what I did with that assignment is I, I would come down here. And uh, if you right click or, or uh, two, two clicks on mine, um, you could change the name to MLB. If I wanted to make this like the American League one or something like that, and then if I wanted to have the same type of a format, um, I could uh, I could duplicate this, and then it'll bring up a second one. And I could rename this MLB National League, something like that, and then I could you know make changes accordingly. Okay, so these are going to be the different sheets down here, so you can see National League, um, and so. On this other, on on the second assignment for you, uh, it's going to have June, July, August, and September for these expense budgets. So you can do these in in separate tabs if you'd like, in separate sheets, or you could just do them all all the way down. And once you get to that assignment, you'll see kind of what I'm talking about with that. So that pretty much summarizes. I know that this is a little bit longer of a video, but uh, it is kind of the introduction for the next two weeks. Um, for us. So I'll only have a, a short one next week that I'll put out that'll just kind of talk about the next formulas and the functions that we're going to be doing for the next two assignments. So if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Um, I miss all of you guys. I wish that we were in the classroom right now going through this, um, but uh, but this is, this is going to be the, the next best thing that we can do with it. So please reach out if you have any questions. Um, don't be frustrated. Just ask me for help and I'll certainly do whatever I can. Uh, whatever it, it takes to help you to get through these assignments. All right, have a great week, and I look forward to seeing you all again soon.